kind of, I kind of really go on YouTube, man. I've been kind of addicted to watching a whole lot of shit about Fedmeister and Pokimane. What the fuck is going on with these two people? What is going on? <laughs> I kind of want to throw my two cents in on it, but I don't, I'm not big. I don't care. I just want to talk about it, because what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> but I'm not... Yes, Fedmeister. It's the big drama on Twitch, apparently. What the fuck happened? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What I do know is this dude got cut. This dude got cut hard. And he got cut hard. He sent in his bed. He sent in his bed. I don't know. <laughs> There's a lot of shit going on. I don't know the Game & Watch. That's my Fedmeister. Okay. So I'm talking about, okay. Apparently, this dude is going through the worst of the worst right now because of the girl he's dealing with. AKA, Pokemon. <gasps> Took a shot. <sighs> but anyways. Pokemon didn't want the relationship. So, this nigga got all butt hurt and simpy and cried in the little corner and wrote a document. But not only that, Pokemon tried to ruin his career. He, she tried to ruin his career little by little. That shit don't fly. My God. So that's why he had to write that shit. Cause I understand his pain type of girls there are in this world they have no heart no remorse they don't care for a nigga at all they'll do anything to defame you they'll do anything to see you at rock bottom and then once they see you at rock bottom they will feel satisfied in life they will laugh at you and say that's what you get for crossing me. Whatever cross it was, it was a tiny cross. It was no cross at all. It was on her it was all in her head. It was on her head. I don't understand females. I don't understand them at all. But anyways. Well not Mister. I would never date Pokey. Hell no. I would never date her. Ew. A one night stand. A one night stand. I can't get in the. I can't ignore that. I can't ignore that. I can't ignore that at all. I can't do it. I can't do it. One night stand. Perfect. I can do that. That's the kind of chick she is. One night stand. Get the fuck out. That's the kind of chick she is. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm saying it. But it's true. She can't have a relationship. It's too detrimental. It's too detrimental for her to have one. So therefore, it's smash. And then pass. <laughs> smash and dip. Exactly. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bob. Let's get it. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I barely get bitches. I got a handful of bitches. I don't care. All right. All right. I got like a handful. I don't care. But all I'm saying is that number going to keep jumping up. The older I get, it's going to jump up. I don't really chase bitches. I see no value in chasing bitches. You chase bitches. You empty your pockets. And once you empty your pockets... They cheat on your ass. Either you you make up with them. It's either you make up with them for cheating on you. Or. You let them go. 
So what I've been doing, I just been letting them all go. I'm just like, then letting go. Everyone, fuck that shit. If I can't, if I can't, if I can't do that, you're getting let go. I'm sorry, you're getting let go. Cause not only if I'm wasting my time, I'm wasting my money. I'm wasting my money. I'm wasting my energy. And if I'm wasting my energy, I could have been using my energy for other shit. So therefore, you must introduce the the smash and pass. You don't waste no energy. You waste no money. You get to chill, make friends. The people you smash, they become friends. Honestly. I'm being honest. No relationships. No relationships. It ended. That shit is dead. This generation has ended relationships. I'm being 100% honest. Fuck that shit. Only relationships left are people that was in school together that grew up since the beginning from fucking kindergarten to goddamn 12th grade and knew each other their whole lives they like each other <laughs> they grown make friends shit like that I don't know you gotta build that friendship first as you're building that friendship you get to know the other person the other person what they like their tendencies they're this they're that other if you don't like their tendencies you can choose to move on before you even get into a relationship boom why am I giving this advice because I have been heartbroken so many times it makes no sense I'm giving this advice to you to know that you will be heartbroken and if you once you are heartbroken it just turns you into a savage. <laughs> exactly. I'm telling you, real world. Get them, get them fucking relationships, like your friendships. Get your friendships together now. Because when you get older, you're going to be pushed down the hill like a boulder. Cause these bitches don't want shit But the money in your pocket And once they take that money They gone That's the world we live in It's sad Only fans I get it I understand that I'm not grinding I'm not finna knock nobody's hustle or nobody like that. But I'm just saying Relationships are dead Shit's dead Homie Shit is dead Wait, I'm gonna allow that one. Allow that one. I pray I allow that one. Fuck girlfriends. All I need are my waifus and body pillows. I might like that, but I do not own a body pillow. Waifus, let's, let me get on that subject. Yurichi. Mmm, I'm smashing that bitch all day. Let's get all right. Let me let me let me chill out. Let me chill out. Let me chill out. <laughs> okay. When you go out on a date, do not go to a shopping center. Do not go anywhere near a shopping center. I warn you. Go to a restaurant, some cheap, not high, not low, in between. Go somewhere like that where, let's say, you've been going there your whole life and shit, and you like the food. And you say, "Hey, I know, I know, I know this person like the food. Let me take them there. It's kind of some uh, authentic food, right? Take them there. Don't let the girl pick the date, cause they're gonna pick a place close to a shopping center. They're gonna use every tactic." To get you to spend your money at a shopping center. Say, oh, let's go to this restaurant. It's right there in this in this plaza. And guess what? Inside that plaza, 
It's a fucking super shopping mall. Gonna walk over there. Hey, let's go to the mall. Fuck no, I ain't gonna no fucking mall. Fuck that shit. Stay away. Stay away from the mall. Fuck that shit. No more simps. I just broke my simp phase. That's why I'm talking right now. I broke through that shit. So that's why I'm so heavy on this shit right now. I just broke through it. Ain't no simping in this motherfucking world. If you a simp in this world, you dead. No Sanji's in this world. No Sanji vent smokes. Get the fuck out of here. Y'all got them Sanji's in the goddamn chat. Inside Pokemon chat, all the Sanji simps, the super Sanji's, the goddamn vent smoke Sanji's. Get the fuck out. We don't want you here. You make the world a harder place for regular men. <laughs> you make the world a harder place for regular men. How many times I gotta say that? I know there's a rant. This rant might be going on. I know it might sound like a ridiculous incel. I don't give a fuck. This shit just happened to me. Time after time after time after time after time again. I'm done with this shit. Dating for me is over. I want to be single for the rest of my life. This generation of bitches can die. <laughs> But if you want to watch a movie together, that's cool, bitch. But just know, a nigga trying to smash. All right. Play some more Smash Brothers. Classic mode. I'm going to guess I'm going to play classic mode until somebody say, hey, start the arena, man. Harder for normal men. I said it. I said it. Yes, I did. pause the game I got this story right I was on tinder right on tinder right this bitch is like no I was like I can help you with anything you need just to let me know get me up I'm fucking up on that part this is like years this is like this is like a couple months ago I was fucking up on that part I, I, I was just I hope y'all anything you just let me know all right so I, I text that to her like fucking next I'm, I'm waiting for like two days. No response. A week. No response. Alright, I was like, once a week passed, fuck it. Fuck you. I moved on. I moved on after the first two days. Fuck you. I'm gone. A week passed. Two weeks passed. Three weeks passed. Four weeks passed. A month. A month has passed. A whole month. A month... And a week passed. Five weeks. Five weeks passed. I'm at work. She's like, um, what the fuck she sound? She said she sound like shit. She, I gotta, I gotta remember that shit. All right, that's what happened. She gave me her number. Once I got her number, we're talking. She's like, so can you help me right now or not? I was like, I don't know if I can help you. What do you need help with? She was like, probation. Can you pay my probation? I was like, what? I don't even know you, bitch. We haven't even been on a date yet. We haven't even did anything yet. I'm not spending shit on you. I'm not spending shit on you. Cause it will make me look stupid. Not only that, it, the reason why it will make me look stupid if I was to go ahead and pay this bitch probation. I don't know this chick, she just instantly just started up. Bitch, 
I don't know you. You ain't earn it. You ain't earn for me to fucking send you probation money. To earn that shit, be a friend. Chill with me. Do shit. Hang out. Spend time. Do something, bitch. That's what I'm like. She said, let me get some probation money. This bitch is dealing with the law. Where the fuck she's doing? I don't fucking know. She just hit me up out the blue. Like a whole month and a half later talking about something. Yeah, I need my probation paid. Motherfucker, I don't know you from a can of paints. I was like, maybe if you haven't waited a whole fucking month. <laughs> if you haven't waited a whole fucking month. If we had a little fucking connection built, we done went on dates and did this and then that, the other. Maybe I would have been if we was in a relationship. Nah, bitch. Fuck you. That's, that's like the third bitch I met on Tinder. Fuck that bitch. Fuck all the bitches. Not only that. Fuck real life bitches. The kind of bitches that know that you want them. And they'll do everything to tease you. And then... That's the kind of bitch Pokemon is. I'm be honest. The kind of bitch that Pokemon is, you like you'll know that she'll know that she that you know that um I don't know. She'll know that you want her. So if you want her, she'll do like everything to tease you and shit, everything like to make you spend money and shit, everything to make you do all kind of shit, and then only for her benefit. As soon as it comes for your benefit, hey, do this for me. She cuts you off, she defames you. She say this is about you make up lies, rumors, this and that, the other thing to make you look bad, make you like the worst person ever, only because she didn't want to talk to you. I done been through so many goddamn situations like that. Cause I done tried to shoot my shot to a bitch that's like top tier on the motherfucking spectrum. And if you do that shit, you're just begging for a failure. So don't do that. Unless you're talented. And they like your talent. You're just naturally blessed with the talent of awesomeness. I don't know. She will play you like a puppet for real. Exactly. That's why I cut my strings. I had to cut my strings. I'm not finna be controlled by nobody else but me. I'm being controlled by me, motherfucker. I don't care. This feels good to let out. Cause this shit happened this year. But anyways. That's not even it. That's not even it. That's not even it. Never. I don't know. I think I'm done with this talk. I'm done. My journey as a simp has enlightened me on this world in so many ways. It just made me hate life. Once I evolved from a simp into a G. I don't know what it's called. I don't know. Fuck everybody. You know. Fuck all females. Fuck they feelings now. That's how I feel right now. Fuck all females. Fuck they feelings. We being friends. No relationships. Fuck that. Just friends, we hanging out. We not finna go nowhere. If you try to bring up the idea of making me go outside, fuck you. Because I've been inside the house my entire life. Yes, I said it. I've been inside the house my entire life. Since I was eight years old, I stopped going outside. I found no reason I found no reason to go outside. And ever since then my life has gotten depressing, saddening, sickening, heartening. But that's what got me into dating. To get some kind of happiness. And when you're at that level of lowness and depression and you're trying to get happiness and all these bitches are doing if this throwing you away like a piece of dirty tissue, you feel sad. You feel tried. You feel, I don't know. I don't know. 
You feel played. You feel disrespected. You feel like you wanna die. But guess what? There's always a leave. There's always a reason to live. So I'm gonna keep living. Whatever reason it is for me to live, I will find. I'm sorry if I'm getting talking like this, but 2020 is a bad year for me. But let me get into the game again. <laughs> Dating is a way to pull you. Wait, I gotta read what you said. Dating is a way to pull you out of your darkness, but it's not worth it. It's better for you to just do it on your own. You get pushed deeper down in your darkness. Exactly. I begin to push deeper down into my darkness of all of 2020. 2019 as well. 2019 as well. Okay. So after this bitch, right? After this bitch, right? After she was like, all right, I don't want you to help me no more. You act like you want to help me before. I was like, listen, I would have helped you if you would have responded to me. The first fucking time you read you read me and left me goddamn you, you left me on red right for like a whole month and a half bitch fuck you you gotta you you got a nigga you gotta you got a man you got a nigga why why are you trying to goddamn finesse your money off a goddamn side from a nigga like me get 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 the fuck out of here get 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 the fuck out of here that's all I was like so after that happened I meet another bitch this bitch. It was nothing wrong with her. It was nothing wrong with her. I fucked up. I don't know why I did. I didn't talk enough, apparently. I didn't talk enough. So I was like, alright, bet. Next bitch. Meet this bitch. We talk. It's not the other. We hit it off. First date. In my car. Smoking the gas. The ganja, the weed, the tweeds. Smoking that shit in the car. Just smoking the shit in the car. I got some wings, some hot wings. From the good hot wing joint, I know. We just chilling in the car. As we chilling, we eating, we smoking. Doing this and doing that. You know? She's like, I, I, I want to go home. So what you want to go home? You didn't tell me I drove a whole hour out here for nothing. I drove a whole hour for nothing, right? Smoking this weed. Eating these wings. No kiss, no hug, no nothing. Nothing? I was like, alright. Whatever. Second date. I do everything over the second date. Second date. Fucking. Go to this goddamn seafood joint. Go to the seafood joint. Go to the mall. Go to the mall. Boom. That's the whole day. Went to, the, went to the mall on the seafood joint. Going home. I was like, all right. I'm not getting anywhere with this chick. She's not She's not trying to fuck. So I was like, all right, bet. So, third day. I bring some more ganja. I pull up. She's like, let's go to this, let's go to this joint right here. Give me the address. I put the address in my phone. I go to the goddamn address. We're picking up friends. Feeling like, all right, bet. So, we third wheeling, we fourth wheeling out here, bitch. We fifth wheeling out here, we fifth wheeling out here, bet. All right, I just want to have time with you, and want to have time with all these other people. So, I'm just finding people up. They're like, bro, your weed good, your weed fire. God damn, what's it called? I'm like, it's called pink runts, bitch. Are right, we smoking this shit, right? Right. <laughs> That was like, I'm gonna have to buy some shit off of you. But right now, I'm trying to get me some edibles. So you trying to get some edibles? I ain't even know about edibles. So I ain't know like where to buy it from. It's like, all right, I'm trying to get me some edibles too. Let me get the goddamn connect. Let me get that. I'll take you there right now to get it. I was talking to a friend of my girlfriend at the time. They're like, no, 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 we ain't gonna do that. We ain't gonna do that. We ain't gonna do that. Like, well, whatever, what the fuck. 
It's like third date in. Fourth date. Fourth date, go to the mall. Mall, I buy some clothes, turn up. Or whatever. I go on GOAT, got that shoe app, buy this bitch some Jordans. I bought her some Jordans, right? Tell me why. Three days later, I'm notified with a IG notification. All right? This bitch wearing a Jordan with niggas I ain't never seen before. So I'm like, right, I'm going to let it slide. I'm going I'm to I'm let it slide. This might be like a cousin or some shit. Cousins, where the fuck? So I'm still going out with this bitch. Her friends. Go to her friends. We smoke with this bitch. Our, our friends and shit. Smoking. Talking. Doing all this. Whatever. You know. Find them up. The, with that goddamn exotic, where the fuck you want to call it, goddamn gas, where the fuck. I'm doing that. As I'm doing that, they bring up somebody name. I don't know who the fuck. I'm, I'm going to say, I'm going to say fuck, I don't know, Bob. They bring up Bob name. Fucking Bob, right? Next thing you know, I look at her. She just got like a little, the bug eye face, like, oh shit, why'd you say that? And I look back at the friend, she's like, oh, I didn't mean to say that. So, like, oh, who the, I was like, so I was like, who the fuck is Bob? And like, oh, it's nobody, it's somebody she used to talk to. I was like, oh. That's why I got reluctant on going on dates. I got reluctant on going on dates. But, like, I'm not going on dates no more. Fuck this bitch. She's trying to use me. So she was like, come over, movie night. I'm like, I don't want to come over. I'm like, fuck that, I'm not coming over. She's like, why are you acting different? I was like, it's nothing, I just don't. She's like, come on, talk. Why are you acting different? Talking. I was like, I ain't, this the first time. First time, I was like, ain't nothing going on. I just don't feel comfortable going right now. So after that happens, she's like, all right, whatever. A week go by. She's like, you've been acting different. If you need to talk, just talk to me right now. So then I'm like, I'm, I'm just not talking to her right now. So I, after that happened, I'm on goddamn Instagram looking at the fucking picture again. Is that the other? Where the fuck? I put two and two together. I'm like, this, this bitch cheating on me. And she's taking all the shit I'm buying for her, all the shit I'm doing for her, all the shit I'm doing for her, all this and that. She's just using it. She's just wearing it with the other nigga. So I felt ultimately tried. So I was like, you know what? Fuck that. I sent a fucking paragraph. I was like, I was born last night, not last night. Fuck this bitch. Fuck you. Goddamn. Go spend your time with the other nigga. After that happened, she was like, I'm just, I was just trying to make you happy. I'm trying to do this for you. I wanted to make you happy. You don't want to make me happy. You go with other niggas, you don't want to make me happy. That's not making me happy. Why are you going to other niggas? Stay with me. Boom. That ain't make me fucking happy. So after that shit happens, I cut her off. I cut the bitch off. Goddamn. Three months later, she hit me up. I'm sorry. I can't leave this earth doing how I did you. I just had to apologize. Bitch, I don't give a fuck. Wait, look what you did. You ruined my goddamn mental, goddamn psyche, all that. You ruined all that shit. Fuck you. You have no goddamn remorse. Fuck you. But how you gonna do that? How? I'm still hurt by that to this day. You gonna have the audacity to hit me back up talking about I'm sorry I can't leave this earth. Bitch, fuck you. What about me? You just care about yourself. You cared about yourself. Nothing but yourself. And now you feeling pity. You feeling all that shit. You trying to talk to me. Fuck you. I'm not talking to you. So after that, bitch, I met this woman. Mm, this woman, she's so fine. I wish I could talk to her again right now. Uh, let's just say I hit it off with this woman. Boom. We hit it off. Boom. That's all I'm going to say. Anyways, back to the game. Back to 
back to the game. That's all my stories of all 2020. Yeah, 2020. The dating, I've been pushing out going for dating, you know. It hasn't been working out, so I said, fuck it, it's not working. Oh well. I don't know how to use Diddy Kong. What? Well, I got that off my chest. And now, I'm just gonna spend the rest of my life not trusting a bitch. Fuck a bitch. I ain't trusting no bitches. Fuck all bitches that can suck a dick. And only if they if they suck a dick, then, then I'll trust them. Then I'll trust them if, I suck, if they suck a dick. If they suck my dick, then I trust them. That's the only way. That's the only way nowadays. I'm sorry to say it. I'm sorry. I know I sound like a misogynistic pig, but fuck it. I rather sound like a misogynistic pig than to be used by these chicks and the little ploy they got going on. Talking about some motherfucker. You just, I don't know. Objectifying women, fuck that. I don't give a fuck about objectifying because you objectify men and you need to see us as ATMs and bank accounts. Fuck y'all. <laughs> and I was trying to not, I was trying not to come to this conclusion, but this conclusion has came because, um, an experiment I was running through, and I, the experiment was, um. Basically, I was a virgin. I was trying to see, can I, will I be able to smash by the end of the year? That was my ploy. I was a virgin this 2020. And I was like, can I smash before the end of the year? So that was basically me just fucking <laughs> go to Tinder, fucking do all kind of shit, just trying to get a bitch smash. And then if things led to a fucking serious, I would have had a serious relationship. But no, nah. this one using nigga dry. And then throw him in the goddamn dirt. Ready? Fuck every bitch ever. And this happened not once, not twice, not three times, not four times, not five times, not six times, but eight times. Eight times. Eight times. You would think, oh, one, oh, he's tripping. Two, oh, you just haven't found the right one yet. Three, oh, you ain't find the right one yet. Oh, four, you haven't found the right one yet. Seven? Oh, maybe it's the world. Maybe it's the world. Seven out of ten bitches. Bro, seven out of ten bitches want your money out your pocket. <laughs> seven out of ten bitches want the money out your pocket. And nothing else. As soon as they get the money, they dip it. Fuck you. No remorse. That's what kind of... That's the kind of chase we're dealing with 2020. I don't even know that right now. I don't even know that right now. I'll say it to the end of the earth. Fuck everybody. <laughs> I know. I know. Eight. Yes, eight. I said it. Eight. Eight. Eight breakups in one year. That's my mentality right now. Eight breakups in one year time. Do you know what that does to a nigga's psyche? A nigga want to kill himself. A nigga really wanted to kill himself. I was really suicidal on this motherfucker. I was like, bruh, no bitch wants me. I was really about to like, like bro, no bitch want me. IRL, like, I was even trying to, like, ask bitches in real life, go on a date with me, do this with me, do that with me. And it was like, yes. And then, like, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. Pick one, bitch. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I hate the bitches that say yes at first and then say no at the last minute on the date. I don't like shit like that. I die. And I won at the same time. Okay.
talking about life while monkey fights people. Yes, life, it hurts. It hurts, it's pain. Life is pain, life is pain. That's why I can say, life is pain. It really is. But if you endure that pain, you might make something great out of it. You might just make something great out of it if you endure that pain for just a little while longer. Oh crap, I blew myself up. But, um, but yeah, I'm pretty much giving up on dating. If I find somebody else, I would keep them at a distance. And I would never actually bring close because I have trust issues now. I have trust issues now. I would never fucking trust anybody. Again, I cannot trust nobody. I can't even take a bitch on a date no more. I have no trust. I have no trust at all. I'm trying to fight. I'm trying to fight the goddamn Charizard. He's on my team. Mm, get him. All right. I'm only 14, but like I'm scared for what's up ahead. Don't be scared. Do not be scared. If you're only 14, make sure you find a girl right now. Be their friend. Fuck it, just be their friends. Find as many girlfriends as possible right now. You ain't gotta try to smash. Don't say you wanna smash. Don't just make sure you have the similar interests. Similar interests. Like say if it's a girl that plays Smash. Only talk about Smash to her. Say it's a girl that like music videos. Only talk about celebrities with her. If you're not into celebrities, don't talk to that girl. But just you gotta keep your options open. You can't seclude yourself. Do not hide yourself. Do not be alone. Because I made that mistake of being alone my entire life. I'm not talking about relationships, I'm talking about friendships as well. I had such social social anxiety that I just stopped talking to people. People would have to come to me to initiate a conversation. And then once then they would initiate the conversation, I would talk. And when I would talk, if it wasn't about my interests, I would just not talk to them. I'm, I'm being honest. Like, I would just try to end the conversation as quickly as possible. I was like, okay, 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 this, okay, that. I don't know about that. Uh, oh, oh, you, you talking about politics? I don't give a fuck about politics, bro. I really don't care about politics. That shit can eat a dick. I don't care about politics. That shit give me a headache. That shit makes me fight people. I'd rather not deal with politics at all. The fucking fight somebody over a goddamn president. But we got damn rules. I don't, want, don't care. But um, other than that, yeah, I pretty much isolated myself my entire life. And I'm trying to come out now. In the world just express myself. Oh, let me get this. What's this special? I never seen this special before. It's kind of weird. Then before you could use to um control the whole backpack and go across the stage. God. Yeah, exactly. You get to control the backpack. What the fuck is going on? I don't get it. I don't get it. Fucking emo on me. I'm emo. I'm I'm emo right now. Fuck the world. Fuck life. Fuck love. Fuck everything. I don't care about nothing right now, honestly. Like, only thing I care about right now is trying to figure out how I'm supposed to have fun for the next day, honestly. I'm having fun right now. This is really fun. Just opening up like this to people. Cause I never talk to anyone. The only people I talk to is my family. And not even just family, like immediate family. Like 
siblings, family, like mother. I even talk my mother like that. I talk only to my siblings. I only talk to my siblings. So I was like, it's time to talk. It's time to open up. It's time to be different. Being quiet my whole life is getting me nowhere. Diddy Kong, he's going far. He's getting these orbs. And he's not gonna die. We gotta make sense. I'm open to all my friends, people I want to. But also, when you're open like that, you gotta be careful who you open up to. Because it's some people, they are manipulators. They will manipulate the shit out of you. I don't like those kind of people. People that twist their word around and make you, I don't know, you say something to them and then they'll twist their words around. If I twist their words around, I'll be like, slightly change what you said so that you have more conflicts in your life with people that doesn't agree with what you said. Which you didn't even say it in the first place. I'm being sunk to a black vortex. What the fuck is happening? Alright. What is that? Alright. I'm fighting the crazy hand and after at the same time. Ah. Damn. I don't know anymore. I'm gonna die. No, I got hit. I'm gonna die after that. I almost had those. I got six tickets. Alright, good. Really, I just want to know. I just want the key to life. Like right now, I want the key to life. What's the way for me to get a key to life? Just to understand everything, to make sure everything goes smoothly, to make sure you know I'm happy through it all. Because right now, I'm not happy. My goal, my goal, my goal in life is to make people happy. Yeah, that's what it is. I'm slowly finding it. It's to make people happy in such a way that when they see me, they smile. Because they know my backstory. They know... It really did though. It really did. Oh. And my goal in life is to make sure I'm happy. To make sure my kids straight. To make sure my grandkids are straight. To make sure I find a bitch that would got that got my back no matter what. Not just, I don't know, got my back one time, and then the second time they need to get my back, they toss me aside like a piece of ass. Fuck you. <laughs> That's my main goal in life. That's my main goal. Even if I die tomorrow, if I die tomorrow, I'll be pissed, but I'll still be happy that I managed to stream online at least. Because streaming online, my voice is heard in some way or fashion. And I'll download them and re-upload them to YouTube as an archive. I don't care. I'm going to do it. 
Alright, it's good. I am 21. I'm 21. I'm 21. I turned 22 in June of 2021. June 16th, specifically June 16th, 2021. I'll turn 22 in 2021. I was born the same year as I don't fucking know. One Piece when it came out, 1999. 